Democrats unite in Chicago, there is talk of a possible coalition building between former President Donald Trump and independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. who could shake up this race. We have Fox team coverage. Peter Juicy here on the convention floor looks at what the Minnesota governor will try to accomplish on his big night. But we begin with Fox Business correspondent Grady Tremble in Asheboro, North Carolina, where the Republican nominee held his first outdoor event since the assassination attempt in July. And Grady, you were able to pull him aside to ask him some questions about the breaking story tonight. Good evening. We were, Brett, and I think we broke it to former President Trump. And our latest polling suggests that the former president stands to gain more than Vice President Harris if RFK Jr. drops out of the race. Today, he told us that he'd welcome an RFK endorsement. While you were out on stage, there's reporting that RFK Jr. is going to drop out of the race by the end of this week. Yeah. Have you spoken to him in the last 24 hours? I haven't, but I respect him. I've respected him for a long time. I mean, I know where he's coming from, and it's a little different philosophy. Very smart guy, however, and uh, I had heard he was thinking about it for a period of time, but no, I have not heard this, what you're telling me. He's going to be in Arizona on Friday. Would you have him on stage with you at your rally? Well, I think I'm going to be there on Friday. We have a big crowd. I would always be honored to. I mean, if he endorsed me, would I be honored by that? Absolutely. The former president also told Fox he's been catching some of the DNC this week. Here's what he says to voters who may be watching, too, and thinking Harris's views have become more moderate. She's the greatest flip-flopper in history. Every single, she's going to ban fracking in Pennsylvania, but now she says she isn't, but she will 100%. She's going to do all of these things that are going to destroy our country, but she's flip-flopped on virtually every single thing she said and lived with for a whole life, long before her political life. So she's going to go back to him, and our country will be destroyed. Even if she doesn't, our country will be literally destroyed by her ideology. There was bulletproof glass in front of and behind former President Trump's podium while he was speaking today. You noted, Brett, that this event was the first outdoor event since that rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. That bulletproof glass is part of the new Secret Service protocols since the attempted assassination. Brett? All right, Grady, thanks. More on this with the panel. We are just a few hours from the biggest speech of Tim Walz's life.